morning. This is Delta Daybreak on WXVT. It's Monday, November 2nd, 2015. Welcome to Delta Daybreak, and I'm Candace Red. And I'm meteorologist Riley Hill. So, Riley, how was your lovely weekend? Did you get scared over the weekend because of the holiday? Uh, well, the Georgia football team's pretty scary. Um, <laughs> What they were, happened? They were just terrible, a nightmare for any Georgia fan out there. But other than that, it was a great weekend. How was yours? I definitely enjoyed myself. I am excited to say that while everyone else was out there trick-or-treating and eating candy, I was working out and eating salad. Nice. <laughs> so I'm attempting <laughs> to get extremely healthy. All righty. Right before Thanksgiving and then... Right before Thanksgiving and then everything goes downhill. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. However, Little Birdie did tell me that it is Meteorologist Riley Hale's birthday. So I definitely want to say happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm assuming you are a young 16. I am an old quarter of a century. <laughs> We're not going to talk about my age, so let's hurry up and jump into the Delta Chat question for this morning. So this morning's Delta Chat question. The t well, that's not too good. Right, Riley? I guess you wouldn't want to get into a fight. No. Nope. Anywhere you're at. No. Nope. Have you ever been? In, have you ever been in a fight? I'm going to ask you the tough question this morning. Have I ever been in a fight? Of course. <laughs> really? Yeah. A physical altercation? Seriously? Wow. Have most people been in a Not fight? me. I'm a goody girl. Yeah, right. I haven't. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think I'm going to be doing out there fighting people? Do I look like I will be fighting someone? Get my Mayweather on? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> I promise you, not like that at all. I am an angel. Let's go ahead and move on <laughs> to weather. Let's move on to the weather. So school bus forecast. Now news hitting the south. A convicted felon will face a judge today after allegedly shooting and killing an off-duty Memphis police officer. Now, 36-year-old Lorenzo Clark will appear before a judge by video arraignment in Tennessee Shelby County. Clark is charged with being a felon in possession of a firearm in the death of 31-year-old officer Terrence Aldridge. Well, the deadly shooting happened Sunday in the Memphis suburb of Cordova, and police say Aldridge was heading to work when he got into an argument with a neighbor. Well, the altercation apparently escalated into a shootout, and Aldridge was shot multiple times. He died at a hospital. Please continue to pray for this police department. Um, it wasn't very long that I, I stood probably very in a very close proximity to where I'm standing now and, and said something very, very similar to what I'm saying here. And uh, it just doesn't get any easier. It, uh, it's, I didn't think that we'd be here again so soon. And good morning. Welcome back. This is Delta Daybreak and I'm Kenneth Rowe. Well, a State Department of Education Commission has voted to suspend the license of a teacher in Clarksdale for five years. Well, Tetra Winters is accused of coaching students during the Mississippi curriculum test. Back in 2013, another teacher who was present during the test says she saw Winters help students until they landed on the right answers. Now, according to an investigation by the State Education Department, Winters is the second Clarksdale teacher accused of coaching students. Winters will be able to petition for reinstatement in five years. Now, Thanksgiving is coming early for Greenville Public School District students. District spokesman Everett Chen says parents and grandparents are invited to join their child for a Thanksgiving meal today. Now, each of the district's eight schools will serve a special holiday meal complete with turkey, dressing, and all the fixings. Now, the lunch will be served during each school's regular lunchtime. Children eat for free as part of the district's universal feeding program. The dinner costs $3 for adults. The district will be closed from Friday through November 29th for the Thanksgiving holiday. And speaking of the holidays, it looks like Christmas is coming early for the Rosedale Police Department. Congressman Benny Thompson says the Rosedale Police Department has recently been awarded a $39,000 grant. Now, the U.S. Department of Agriculture recently approved the grant. Mayor Kerry Estes says the money will be used to purchase two new patrol vehicles. And online shoppers should beware of package thieves. Well, that's according to the Indianola Police Department. The holiday season is right around the corner. That means presents are being shipped to shoppers' doors. Now, Indianola Police Chief Richard O'Bannon says the police department is working hard to prevent thieves from stealing your mail. What we're recommending is that if you're not going to be home to accept a delivery, 
maybe have that delivery shipped or sent to a family member who would be home during the day or maybe even have it sent to your workplace if that's possible. Stealing mail is a felony offense and can lead to five years in federal prison. And the Greenville Fire Department is welcoming several new firefighters, including a woman. She's the first woman the department has seen on board in more than 15 years. WXVT's Money Dobson has the story. At the age of six, Laterica Johnson says a school field trip to her hometown fire department sparked her interest in becoming a firefighter. I'm Candace Red. As you can see, I am joined live in the WXVT studio with two guests. I have uh, Miss Allison Washington. She is the assistant principal of Greenville High School, as well as Miss Nikki Rags, who is the parent teacher organization president. And we are pretty much so here to talk about parent university and PTO. So good morning, ladies. Good morning, good morning. Candace. And thank you so much for being here here. So let's go ahead and start with what is Parent University? Parent University is an organization that we're going to have at Greenville High School on tomorrow night from 5.30 to 6.30. It's an opportunity for our parents to come in and we as the faculty and staff at Greenville High School to begin to inform them of what's going on at Greenville High School. We're going to be talking about how to read our new state assessment scores scorecards to ensure that the parents have clarity and understanding. We're going to be talking about um, our students getting to class, getting to school and getting to class on time mm -hmm. and how important their presence is to ensuring that they have academic success in the classroom and on any kind of assessment as well as some things that we're going to do to improve and boost our ACT scores with our students. All right, definitely sounds like something that is of great importance especially as it relates to both students and parents at part of Greenville High School. Let's go ahead and define the parent-teacher organization and what we can expect with that. The PTO, um, I am the president and I have a group of young ladies that we are thriving to take um, Greenville High to another level mm -hmm. this year. Uh, we want to get our parents much, much more involved in what our kids do. Um, it's a plus that we do that as parents. Um, so. We're going to uh, collaborate with the Parent University right. on tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we're expecting a large crowd of our parents to come out mm -hmm. tomorrow to learn and be abreast on what is going on at Greenville High. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ask the both of you, definitely feel free to chime in. Why is it important for parents to come to the event? It's important for parents to come to the event because the education of a child is, it's, it's important that the parents support the academic environment and it's also important that the young people see that the parents and the school, that they are a team and we're working together to do what is in the best interest of them in the long run. Mm -hmm. And so if the parents and the school administration and the staff are able to work together, mm -hmm. then what we create is a bond and a um, collaboration that works in the benefit of the young sure. people. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure, according to one of our district goals, we are, we're building or we're working to build community trust with our stakeholders. And our parents are our first stakeholders. We want them in. We want them to know what's going on. We want them to be abreast. And if they come in, we're able to teach and we're able to share with them and they can partner with us mm -hmm. and make sure our young people are able to be successful. Well said. Nikki, mm -hmm. your comment? Yes, I do. Um, uh, we, exactly. Um, we do want to gain that trust with our um, mm -hmm. public school and administration all the way down. So as a parent on a whole, we got to come in, volunteer at the school, right. walk our children through things and get them prepared for college, mm -hmm. ready for the world when they exit out. Okay, now I know I'm almost out of time here. I, I am curious to know, is this the first time this is coming together for Greenville High School, bringing Parent University and PTO? This is the first mm -hmm. event for Parent University and PTO, but uh, we will be doing this on a regular basis because okay. it is our desire to make sure that as, as the faculty and staff and as parents, we're working together to ensure that our students are college mm -hmm. and career ready when they leave the doors of Greenville High School. Okay, and what information can you give to the parents who unfortunately may not be able to make the event, but they definitely want to be sure to be involved? If they cannot make the event, we want you to go ahead and log on to our district website, mm -hmm. greenvillepublicschooldistricts.com. Um, 
org, I believe, dot com it is, and you can click on the Greenville High School link. You can call us at the school at 662-334-7061 and ask for that information. You can also make contact with Ms. Nikki Rags, yes. who is our PTO president, and she can take some time out and yes. put get some information for you. And additionally, we have what's called a parent community liaison. Mm -hmm. Her name is Kalila Thomas, and she's available to come in and meet with the parents, even go out into their homes and share information. So we've got a wealth of things going on at Greenville High School and in yes. the Greenville Public School District, yes. and we're doing what we can do to make sure that parents are a partner with us mm -hmm. as we educate our children. Okay, yes. well, I'm going to have to leave it there. Unfortunately, we, ha we have to go ahead and end the discussion, but it was a great one. Thank, Thank you. you so much, ladies, Thank for coming you. in. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a great day to be a Hornet, always. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be right back after the break. All right, thanks, Riley, and thank you all for watching Delta Daybreak CBS This Morning starts right now.